Look at this, folks. Oh my God. Oh my God. Wow. Hey folks, Big D here from the Fade It channel. And a few weeks back, we uh, announced a uh, exciting, uh, you know, or some exciting news, right? And that was the addition of a new bolt. So without further delays, I want to introduce you to the newest member of the Faded family. And here she is. Don't have a name picked out for her quite yet, but uh, it is a 2023 Tracker uh, Pro V, so Pro Guide 16. So it's roughly 16. Uh, 16 feet and 6 inches here. So let me take you on a, a little tour of this boat. Now, there are a lot of things I like about her and there are a few things uh, that I don't like, right? So let's start on the outside here. So I went with a dark blue, almost kind of a purple here. It really doesn't matter because we're going to wrap it. Uh, it's going to, you know, say the faded channel and stuff like that uh, here real soon, right? So the trailer, it's pretty darn awesome here, right? It's really good quality. Um, so it's got a, uh, you know, swing tongue here. So that way you can uh, put it away, uh, you know, in the garage. Uh, overall, very, very easy to tow. Very, very smooth, right? And it comes with a uh, Minn Kota power drive uh, trolling motor. So it doesn't have the iPilot or the uh, spot lock uh, yet, but I did order the kit for about, you know, $450 and I'm going to have to put it on once it gets here. Okay. So the boat does come with a bimini top and folks, I'll tell you what, right now in the desert, it is extremely hot. So any kind of shade. <laughs> It's going to be very, very valuable because I'm burning up right now, right? So I've got the bimini on here. It's, it's a really nice bimini. It covers most of, you know, the, the cabin here. Um, so, but any type of shade is going to work, right? Um, so the motor is a Mercury 4-stroke 90. Uh, I don't need anything more powerful than that. Uh, you know, I'm not trying to go really fast or anything like that here. Uh, so it's an outboard. My other boat is an inboard this is actually my first outboard um, so it should be easier to take care of it comes with a you know transom saver right there uh looks pretty good so far we'll find out how it does here but uh, i've seen a lot of folks complain that it does damage uh the motor a little bit here but here it looks like it's doing pretty well it's not actually touching it only the rubber parts touching it right so pretty much that's the outside uh, of the boat. So the only real complaint I have is probably the paint job. Um, I, I don't know if you can see it, but you can see some, uh, you know, some maybe not dents, but some folds and stuff like that uh, along here. It looks like, you know, it may have gotten scratched um, when they loaded on the truck or something like that. But uh, yeah, that's, you know, very, very minor complaints right all right so let me show you the inside of the boat here so i really did get the the very very basic model here so this is the wt and not the sc right the difference is the sc is a side console it doesn't have this windshield here that covers it uh so i opted to go with the uh, windshield because you know uh i think it looks better uh and the passenger can get uh, you know, it's a protection from the wind, right? Um, no stereo. That's okay. We can use, you know, our Bluetooth speaker uh, along with our phone. So really don't want to pay extra for that. And uh, as you can see here, the cockpit, very, very simple, right? You've got the live well, um, you got the pump, the lights, the bilge, right? Horn and uh, your gauges, right? It comes with a Lorenz Hook 4. Um, you can definitely upgrade it, but for now, for me, um, that's really all I need is the hook for, right? Maybe when I upgrade uh, my trolling motor to, you know, one with a side scan, um, I'll go with a hummingbird, right? So, 
One of the few things that I can complain about is the lack of storage. There's not a lot of storage in here. So we've got, you know, two of the rod holders here that have got some chips and, uh, uh, you know, other snacks in, right? Um, so one on that side and one on this side for you to put your pole in, right? So those are awesome. Uh, it does come with a paddle, uh, a wooden, uh, you know, paddle. So just in case you get stuck here. Um, so the glove compartment, it's got a ton of room. So check it out, right? There's a lot of room in there. So one of the bigger glove compartments that I've actually seen, okay? Um, there's some storage underneath here, right? Some small storage on both sides. And then on the front, um, really not a lot, right? One of the uh, main complaints that I see people uh, complain about um, is there's a battery right here for your trolling motor and it takes up kind of you know a lot of space right so there's not a lot of um storage space for for anything so i use it for the life vest um you know i put it up here right kind of fill it up maybe i should move it move one over here <laughs> but yeah so and then right up here is the live well i'm used to the live well being in the back but so here it is right pretty darn good sized live well for a boat this size um so yeah i'm gonna try to fill it up with stripers tonight right and this is your bait bucket area right so your minnows stuff like that uh, goes right in here so just an extension of the live well so one of the cool things about this boat is it actually comes with a real nice cooler that's right a cooler so i've got ice and beer and water in there and i've got a 12 pack of beer uh, or 12 packs of uh, you know modello in there right now uh, and then i've got maybe eight bottles of water uh, and some and some drinks and two bags of ice two 10 pound bags of ice and it fits perfectly check it out so it's back here, right? Uh, we're gonna test out the installation uh, or insulation and see how well it keeps the uh, ice from melting, right? But yeah, check it out, right? So, and I still got plenty of room here, right? So, like I said, right? I've got 12 Modellos and a bunch of water and drinks and everything like that. And uh, yeah, there's a drain plug that's on the bottom here um, that you can, you know, remove to get the water out. Um, when all the ice melts. So I thought that was pretty cool, right? Over here, um, this is your battery uh, for pretty much everything except the trolling motor. So you really can't do anything with this, right? So I probably wouldn't touch any uh, anything in there uh, as well. So this does come with a 25 gallon uh, tank for your fuel, which is pretty darn amazing when you uh, uh, when you think about it for a boat this size to have 25 gallons i mean that's pretty good that's pretty good in my opinion right so she's uh filled up to the brim here this is her maiden voyage uh so we're gonna get out there we are gonna do about 1500 2000 rpms for about two hours and then we're gonna do variable speed no no uh, uh nothing greater than 4500 rpms uh, for a total of eight hours so 10 hours of breaking her in so i'm not going to be speeding or anything like that uh on the lake Woo! it's a hot one out here today folks it's supposed to be fall but it's like 98 99 degrees here down in the desert <laughs> it's hot uh, a couple things i forgot to mention um it comes with three seats that are removable you can put it uh you know in the back and you can also put one in the front um they're pretty good seats uh pretty high quality um, and another thing, um, it comes with two of these, uh, uh, you know, engine, whatever, you know, the, the lifter, right? Going up, going down, things like that. There's one on the motor right here and there's one on the throttle as well. And you can also, uh, hook up a hose. If you were to take this into salt water, there's a, a little hookup right here that you can, you know, turn and put a hose in there and flush out um all this hot water and things like that so uh overall you know i mean first impression 
really like it. I think it's a good buy. Um, you know, these boats used to be about $25,000. Um, you know, everything's more expensive these days, right? So this boat is going to be about $35,000 once you take delivery of it. Still not too bad, right? I mean, hey, you know, it's a lot better than spending $100,000, you know, on a Ranger, right? Well, I wouldn't spend $100,000 on a Ranger, but I think they're great boats. Um, but yeah, for a uh, budget boat, I think, you know, you can't, you can't beat this. You can't beat the price uh, and the functionality, right? If you're just going out to fish, um, you know, I think uh, uh, this is going to serve you really, really well. Now, I didn't get the uh, combo uh, package. Basically, what that means is um, you'll get a swim uh, ladder back here and a few other things, maybe a little bit more storage, right? But really don't need it, you know. If I'm going to swim, I'll jump in, I'll grab onto this and, you know, make my way back up. All right, see you guys. All right, folks, it kind of sucks when you're launching by yourself, but pretty easy to launch. I have no complaints. All right, let's put the uh, trim down and let's start her. Here we go. Oh, hear that purr? Oh, that's great. Put it down some more. Here we go. All right, we're going to let it run for a little bit here. I'm going to cruise around the bay a few times. I'll make sure we don't sink here. <laughs> there we go. Just a little. Mm, she is smooth, folks. Look at this, folks. Oh my God. That is a big, big fish. Woo! All right, buddy. There it goes. See you later. Nice. All right, good night, everyone. I'll see you in the next episode. Stay faded. Peace.